Hi, it's Teacher Mike from PhuketPals.org. Today I want to show you a website called Newzella. And this website is very, very useful for GED RLA preparation. Okay, so students, students often come and say that they, they struggle to find authentic materials for non-fiction texts. And let's not forget that the vast majority of GED RLA is made up of non-fiction texts. Sometimes students, you know, they, they spend long periods of time reading novels and reading fiction and short stories. And, you know, that in itself is a good thing, but you really have to get your teeth into non-fiction texts as well. And I'm going to take you over to a website right now in which you can do that really, really well. So let's, let's go over to Newzella. Okay, this is it. Newzella.com, as you can see. Um, there is a free version and a paid version of this. The paid version is called Newzella Pro. Um, the vast majority of users in the world are on the free version. And to be honest, I think the free version is more than enough for your GED preparations. It's also more, more than enough for teachers as well. So just sign in. Okay, you can sign in with your Google account, which is the easiest way. Okay, and that is us entering newzella.com. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's very fresh. It looks, it's simply laid out. It's very nice indeed. What you'll see here first is on page one, you have a number of news articles, okay? So you've got current affairs, things that are happening in the world today in things like science, mathematics, literature, history, uh, politics, art, every subject is covered within this website. So here we have a science article. Do animals hit the bitter cold of winter? We have some news, sports news, the arts, health, as I said. Um, then we have exploring Black History Month, things about civil rights, ballerinas who reach their dreams, okay, etc., etc. So let me just show you how one of these articles works and what makes this so cool. So let's go into the, the science article. Okay, remember this is the free version. Okay. Okay, here it is. So here's the science article, do animals hit the bitter cold of winter? Now you can see here it gives you the word count. Okay, the word count is given. Also the text level. Now you might think, what does that mean text level six? Well, it means approximately grade six in school. And the cool thing about Newzella and what makes it so special in my opinion is that you can actually modify the, the difficulty level of the text, okay, the lexial level, the level of comprehensibility. And you do that by going up here to max and you can change it to here's grade two, you can change it to grade three here. Notice how the, the headline is changing as we do that. Um, the maximum difficulty for this particular article is grade six, but it does go up until grade 12, which is quite cool. And remember that for GED RLA, you need to be going up to that grade 12 level. Okay, so let me just show you other things you can do with this. When you, you can read the article, obviously, and then you can go into activities. And you for every article with the free version, you get fa five, I think it is, or four four free uh, reading questions. Now, these questions are linked to the Common Core Initiative, uh, which is, so is the GED RLA test. So these questions are very, very useful for improving the skills you will need in the RLA reading test. Now, the thing is, if, if you're not, it's a bit more difficult if you're not working with a tutor or a teacher, because it doesn't give you the answers with the free version. So if you're working with a tutor or if you're working in a online reading group or something, it might work well, um, you could kind of share the answers with each other or with your tutor can tell you the answers. But they're, they're really cool questions. And also, if we go in here, you can see that you get a writing activity with every news article as well. It's called a writing prompt here. It says, short, write a short paragraph that explains the central idea of the article. Use at least two details from the article to support your response. And it's really good to read these articles, answer the few reading questions, and then keep a little notebook with you. And you know, answer the writing prompt for every single article. 
I've had my students do this in the past and it works really, really well. Students enjoy these articles. They're, they're topical, they're, they're contemporary, they're current, you know, and uh, it means that students get more of a, they get a rounder view of the world and society. And uh, it's just good for their general knowledge, good for their reading comprehension, good for vocab, improving your reading skills. Everything is in here. Okay, now the writing prompt changes each time, although this particular writing prompt is the most is the most common one you will see, but there are many other ones as well. Okay, so that's that's the basics of Newzella. You have news articles, you can adjust the difficulty level of them, and also you have reading questions and a writing prompt to do. Now, some teachers just and, and students just leave it at that. That's all they kind of go into, but there are other parts of the site as well that I want to show you. There's a library, and the library contains endless amounts of articles, arts and culture, science and maths, religion and philosophy, government and economics, geography, world history, US history. So you can see in here, you've got lots of subjects that are relevant to the GED itself. The science and maths part in particular is very good for reading about science, scientific articles, and that's excellent for the GED test. Um, government and economics, geography, world history, US history. This is all perfect for the GED social studies test. So if I were you, I would get in here, explore and extract as much goodness from these articles as you can. Let's just click on US history, for example, and we'll get some articles based on that. Here we go. Okay, and you've got different articles. Let's see what there is. Alternate take, what if Martin Luther hadn't been killed? That seems interesting. So let's go have a look at it. Okay. Okay, and again, you've got your, the same thing as we saw before. Let's see if this one goes to grade 12. It does, there we go. So text level, grade 12, word count, 1,119. Okay, and this is a very similar level. Uh, of, of comprehensibility, a lexial level as it's known, okay? So it's a very similar level of reading that you'll get in the GED RLA test. So if you are confident with your reading and if you've looked at some practice papers for GED before and you're comfortable enough with the reading level, then in, in Newzella, go to text level 12, okay? If, you're, if your reading level is a little bit lower, if you're a second language learner, for example, I recommend that you build your level up OK, so drop it down. It just depends on, on where you are and your reading journey. But let's say you're around, let's say you're a little bit higher than that. Let's say you're about grade nine. Well, you know, read lots of articles based on this, based, based on this level, and then gradually build yourself up. When you get more confident, then you can build up to that grade 12 level. OK, never rush it. OK, you're better to understand the majority of what's on the page than having to look at a dictionary every sentence or two, okay? I recommend if you can read, say, four or five lines and you own, maybe you don't understand one or two words, that level is about right. But if you're, if you're looking at a dictionary every line, more than once every line or every two lines, then it's probably too hard. Go down a level here, okay? Drop it down. Okay, now that's the library, as you can see. And it also has things like primary sources, which is really cool for the GED test. Okay, you get primary sources in RLA, you get primary sources also in the social studies. So here we have Martin Luther King's letter from Birmingham jail. How cool is that? That's perfect for the social studies test. Um, we also have, what else do we have here? Um, things about colonialism, which is interesting. World War II, okay, that's perfect for the social studies test as well. Let's see what they have. These are letters from a German soldier during World War II. Okay, and again, notice your, your reading level and your word count there. So this is perfect, you know. This gives you authentic language, authentic material to, to play with and improve your skills. Okay, you need to practice with these primary sources, the real sources from the time as well as secondary nonfiction sources as well, because both of them come up in the GED test. Okay, so here's a letter from a German soldier to his wife. Perfect, okay? And again, 
you'll read this nice pictures as well they're going to guide you along and you have your your quiz questions okay and you have your writing prompt as well so how cool is this for free it's it's so nice um excuse me um let's go to see what the writing prompt is Okay, the writing prompt this time is, who wrote this primary source and what was their purpose for writing? Okay, so the writer's purpose. Again, this comes up again and again and again in the GED test because it's one of the common core standards. Explain the goals of the author by including details from the article and background knowledge about the time period it was written. Okay, so you're digging deep with this writing prompt. Okay, you're talking about writer's purpose, the writer's, the writer's goals, looking at reading for detail okay and looking at the con you know the contemporary setting of this and explaining that so this is really good for accessing and, and sharpening your higher order thinking skills guys so i strongly advise you get into this website okay so that's the library you get your primary sources you've got biographies famous speeches you've also got myths and legends in there okay okay they're not in the ged test but all reading practice is good reading practice okay so read as much as you can really good input and lots of it is what i advise in here you've also got news okay so you get news about all these different areas now this is an interesting part as well called text sets text sets are cool you can see there are text sets for science text sets for literature text sets for social studies and text sets also for math so this kind of is perfect for the ged test if we look into this let's say the literature section Let's see what's in there. Okay, so these are groups of articles, okay, sets of articles around a common theme. Okay, so you'll see here text set, this is all about Siddhartha by Herman Hesse, the famous novel. Um, here we have Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt, Kurt Vonnegut. And here's Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. Let's go in there and see the text set that's relevant. Okay. Okay, so it says this text set explores the themes of marriage, love, and family from a Shakespeare play. Okay. Let's see. Boys won't be boys. Some Chinese mothers worry. And again, you're going in, you'll see an article, and you can play around with this. Okay. All of these are linked around a common theme and you can just play about with it yourself and see where you get. Okay, highly recommend it. It's good for social studies as well for GED. Get in there and have a look. Okay, just make spend a spend an hour. Take an hour of your free time. Just get in and research through the site. Have a look. See what works for you. I find that the tech sets for social studies are excellent uh, as an accompaniment to the GED social studies course. Uh, Chinese, here we are, Industrial Revolution, okay, um, we have Hinduism, colonialism, imperialism, we have, what else, economics, cultures of the world, the women's rights movement, okay, that's, that's interesting and is relevant to GED social studies, what have we got, we have, okay, study says young women narrowing the wage gap at work, Okay, again, so it's it's around this, the text sets are just gathering lots of articles around a common theme. And that's a good way to study, okay? Go through one theme at a time and make sure it links in to your relevant GED test, whether that be the RLA or the social studies or the science, okay? So read these, make sure you read them closely. Make sure you've got this, uh, your level, the text level adjusted accordingly. Make sure you do the questions, make sure you do the writing prompt as well, and you will, you'll, your reading level will improve quickly, okay? Um, another thing in here which is useful is this one, cultivating close reading, okay? So click on that, and this allows you to improve your close reading skills. And these are close reading skills that link to the Common Core, and also you know, you'll need them in the GED test for all subjects, in fact. So here we have it. Like, Analyzing word choice and using context clues, analyzing point of view, analyzing text structure, um, determining the central idea, what the text says. So let's click on determining the central idea. 
Okay, and this gives you some tips for determining the main idea of an article. Okay, tip one, using a, the highlighting feature to mark the main idea sentence in the article. So there is a highlighting function within the free version here as well. Um, write out your answer to this question immediately after you finish reading. What did the author want me to learn about this topic? Okay, so read the article and answer the question. What did the author want me to learn? That is the main idea of the article. And then after you finish the article, go back and analyze the key idea that each section focused on. Then summarize the article as a whole, thinking about each individual section. Okay, so that if you do that for each article, you'll be progressing very quickly indeed. Let's have a look. Um, this study should move you towards a healthier and longer life. Okay, again, it's the same idea, but the questions themselves will focus you in on that particular reading skill, as you'll see. Okay, what are the two main ideas in the article, as you can see? Okay, and it works like that. Okay, there are other functions in this website as well, such as a binder and collections, but I think what I showed you is that that's, they're the main bits that can really help you out. Okay, so if you find this video useful, please, please subscribe below because there's lots of more videos that I can help you with to improve your GED skills. All right, so thank you very much. My name is Teacher Mike from PhuketPals.org. Have a good day and take it easy. Bye-bye.